All right, I did a, uh, I mentioned in a previous video I made of the SJ4000 that it, I thought it'd be pretty easy to take this thing apart for um, different lenses and stuff like that to modify it, rib cage style, which, you know, they use on GoPros and uh, they retrofit C-mount lenses on GoPros and things like that. Well, that was before I realized that most GoPros and action cams use basically security camera sensors and subsequently you can get security camera lenses for a couple bucks off eBay. I picked up this 8mm lens and this 12mm lens which if I've done my math right should be about a 50 and 75 mil equivalent. Um, I picked them up for five bucks each. So to get started basically how this is is you've got a board that sits into this black plastic housing here. And uh, just to get immediately started, actually, let me go over the basic stuff you'll need. You'll need a small screwdriver, something very thin, which um, translates to being pretty sharp, so a razor blade works. Also, a guitar pick is nice for pulling apart plastic stuff without damaging it. So the first thing, the easiest thing to take apart, well, First, you're going to need to pull your SD card, obviously. So, pull your SD and drop your battery out. Then you've got your battery and your battery door. Set these aside. You won't need these, obviously. So, and then the first piece to come off is this front piece, which just simply snaps on. So, if you get a guitar pick underneath of it or something, you just kind of go around the edge and disengage the clips. So there's that. Set that aside. And then the, you have this little board here. This is your power button. Um, now that's actually all I want to do for now on that. The, f the next thing I'm going to do is seeing this uh, shiny black or shiny plastic back is just a piece of clear plastic with this black mat and some glue on the other side. And I've already pulled it off and came off really easy but I pulled it apart in a different method. So I'm going to try this. I think I can get a slim object such as this razor under there and just gently pry up on it. Yeah, sure enough. And then just start to get underneath of this thing, pry up on it. And once you get it started, probably transition over to the guitar pick because that will make for a cleaner separation. And then just go around and disengage the glue. And if your camera is like mine, all the glue will stick to this and uh, you'll be good. And also, actually I just noticed this, if you look at the back, ooh shit, if you look at the back here, there's no glue along here. I don't know if all of them are like this, but that might be a good place to start. I kind of, uh, I kind of get a little damage to mine actually but no worries we'll set that aside this little light pipe here will fall out so be careful about that and now this is kind of the tedious part here you've got your screen obviously you want to be real careful with this stuff there we go the razor worked well to get that separated and so here we have kind of what you'd expect, a flat flex cable. And these are, this thing is real small. It's got the little uh, tabs that you pull out to disengage. There it is. Now you can just gently pull that away and set it aside. Cool. Now we're basically ready to take this thing apart got four screws that attach the main assembly into the housing. Cool. And that frees that up. And so the next thing is, is you've got this front uh, cover, which attaches to the battery holder. And these are all the same screw. 
all uh, all of these and all of the main attaching screws there. Cool. Now that these are removed, uh, it's important to note that this board, uh, the wires loop around to the back. Now maybe we can just do it like this. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go. Just kind of lift it up like that because this board is on its own wires and then pull it back and set this aside. Now we're into the nitty gritty of this thing. And basically the only thing holding it in there now is the uh, HDMI and USB um, sockets which kind of poke through the side here. So all you need to do is bend this side away from those and uh, you can probably push on the micro SD slot there and you can pull. Obviously you want to be very gentle with this but it takes a little bit of doing and that's about it. There we go. We've got that frame out and so now now we can pull off the battery trick, uh, holder. Now the battery holder has a couple things attached to it, so you don't want to completely separate it otherwise. Well, because it's just not really worth it. You don't need to pull all that stuff off to change the camera module. So we'll pull this off. There's four screws, and these are chrome screws like the stuff on the front which has a black finish and so these might be different so I keep them separate so as not to confuse them well it's nice to do your work on a little microfiber towel like this just so stuff doesn't get lost it's kind of sticky a little bit almost and so there we have it that is pulled apart here and if we look at the chip on here we'll see it's the Novatech NT9665 0 which is the same chip that's on the Mobius and then it's directly printed on the ribbon for the camera module here AR0330 which is also the same module that's on the Mobius so Got another flat flex here, same sort of connector as the um, screen. And now these screws on the back actually have a kind of a bigger, uh, well these there's two screws that mount the uh, image sensor to the board and they're kind of a bigger socket. So I use a nice big screwdriver like this to get these guys. Using the right size screwdriver is very important. have it now now we have the SJ4000 part down to its bare essentials Well, folks, it's, uh, I should have showed you the process, but I did fit a different lens on there. Check it out. Um, the process was actually really easy. I just lefty-loosey unscrewed the original lens, and the glue was pretty weak, and it just came off. So you can see I'm testing it here. I'll, got, I'll uh, record some test footage. Now one thing to note is that I forgot to remove the infrared filter from this lens. So if I take, uh, for example, here I'll uh, hit record. See, it's kind of tricky to do this here. So if I hit record, and I take, I uh, go to my remote app on my phone here. I take my phone, the IR blaster, and I video it. 
it comes up like a bright LED just shining straight into it. So, um, <laughs> whoops, when you buy a lens for a security camera, make sure you get one with an infrared filter on it. Otherwise, your image will be all pink and ugly. So, uh, that's that. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Uh, now I'll show you how to reassemble this thing. So, reassembling this thing is just as easy as taking it apart is, and basically the same. Uh, I already have my battery tray and image sensor put back onto the camera with my new lens, which is uh, something to note here, you have to focus your lens because now we don't have a fixed focus and uh, good thing that this has a screen on it because eh, now I can do that. So what you want to do is slide your assembly into the back and be careful to route these wires here for this board correctly and the correct routing is simply just kind of around the corner and like that. So actually just leave them sticking kind of straight up for now. So just go ahead and slide it in there. Make sure you also have these wires for your back folded up correctly. I should also note I have that screen on there for testing purposes. I have since uh, removed that for reassembly. Okay, basically just slide it on in there. And when it's all settled, it'll kind of click in. Now you can take and tuck the wires for this. them around the corner and uh, this is not in really in any set order or anything so if you'd like you, know, you can take this chance to uh, install your front cover and this front cover with this bezel for the lens I'm actually going to remove this because it's just clipped on there and that way I can get at my lens and focus it if need be fairly easy. So I will put this in here, set this board back on there, good deal. And now, just put these screws back in there. Oops, looks like I've got it misaligned a little bit. So you want to be sure to have your, I think there's some pins on this that need to line up. Yes, there are. So there's are the four screws that hold the front cover to the battery tray, and now the four that hold the battery, the front cover to the rest of the frame. There it is. Okay, and now easily the trickiest part of this, which is installing the screen. And so to install the screen, we need to put this ribbon cable back into its slot. And this catch here for the ribbon cable really wants to uh, push in. So what you need to do is push that into its spot, make sure it's fully seated. Push the tabs in, make sure they're seated. And then just push the screen into its place. Now before you uh, glue the back back on. It's nice to put a battery in it the right way around and make sure it still works. It does. That's great. And so now we can continue. First put on your light pipe. 
which goes there. And make sure you get that the right way around. I actually just put it in the wrong way around. The little uh, bits that stick out of it need to go towards the edge. And now you're ready to install your back cover. So, oops. I'd recommend going around the sides first to make sure they all seat into their place. There it is. I'm kind of press down and rub and make sure it's nicely glued on there. And now you can put your front bezel on. If the uh, clips will go in. There we are. All engaged. Put my battery door back on. Of course, I already have a battery in there. And uh, my lens is easily turnable. Got my micro SD. I'm ready to go. And now you can actually focus your lens and you could even uh, shoot macro or something like that. So. Let's do some test shots and have some fun.